Okay, so let's see. Oh, little tire slide. Okay, big rock. Yes, into the beast. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I've got a very special guest. He is the original pioneer of freeride mountain biking. They call him the director of good times. You guessed, Brett Chippy. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the shore. Ow! <laughs> All right, Remy, I'm gonna take you to a couple rock faces right by my house, but first we should warm up. And there's a couple little single tracks we can do and uh, get going. Let's go. So that is actually my first part riding this place on the North Shore. Should be pretty fun. Whoa! <laughs> all good, all good. Okay, let's up, it's a bit drier. <laughs> I didn't do any better than you. Okay, let's go try again. So we come around here, then up here, and then you gotta shoot between those. That little gap there. It's it's the kind of thing that doesn't look like anything in camera. But it's hard. It's actually really hard. Like I don't think people understand how slick that section is. Yeah. Super slippery. It's really tough like with your bottom bracket to because you have to time your pedal. You can't just pedal everywhere because exactly. there's a bunch of it'll, stuff. You'll hit. And with all the vegetation you can't really see where you put your wheel I sometimes. Know. Tough one. Yeah. It is. You know what? I'm gonna film you doing it, and then uh, <laughs> if you do it, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> or I'll try. Okay. Brett TP attempt number two. Oh, dude. You made it look easy. You made it look like nothing. Well, it's easy when you hit the right lines <laughs> and get right where you want to be. But look at those roots. It looks like nothing, but it's kind of greasy. You gotta hit this little pinch point right here. Couple pedal catchers, but when you go right down the middle, then it's easy. Nice! Look at this. It's really like, it looks like nothing and it's low consequences if you crash, but really easy to clip a pedal and, and mess it up on that. And slippery. Very slippery, yeah. Oh yeah, it's greasy. Hey buddy. Okay, now I'm gonna follow the guy, TP. See if we can bust links that. Whoa. So yeah, I had a bit of a different technique here. Me, I move the rear of the bike. That really helped me. Whoa, it's flying, TP. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah. Oh. That was awesome. Oh, I'm going back up for more. <laughs> Alright, part two of the warm up, another little quick single track here, and then we go out ride the rock. Let's go. Whew. It's pretty uh, tricky here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Another wooden stick. <laughs> yeah, TP. And back on the uphill. There we go. What uh, hydraulic seat bus you run? I run the one up components. What size? 210 mil. Oh, wow. You're a big boy. Yeah, you can slam it all the way to nothing <laughs> and uh, raise it for climbing. Awesome. 
So that's our first rock face? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna start with the little one. We got a little one here and then the big one. Um, just kind of kicking the uh, rocks and the sticks out of the outrun so you got a nice smooth place to go, get to, a little island of safety. You don't want to run over a stick and hover it lever into your front wheel and you know go into your spokes and put you over the bars. And uh, yeah, it'll go up top and then check it out and then uh, do it. Got to go up to go down. <laughs> So the big rolls here, the little one goes down this way, turns right, and then goes in between those two trees that we looked at it from the bottom there. So I'm just gonna leave my bike here and walk down and make sure it's all good to go. And so Remy's walking down the line that you're, we're gonna be riding here, and you have to make a corner here, and then it's kind of like a little double roll here, a little double kiss, so you wanna keep it slow until you actually get into the main face itself. And that's where you do the release and plummet and <laughs> make it to the flats and then throw the horns and say uh, Yahoo or whatever you want to say. Okay, Brett, what's the tip to ride this feature? Because it's not your regular rock face that goes straight down. You've got to come on an off camber rock face, negotiate a 90 degree super exposed corner because you got a cliff behind me, you got a cliff down there and then you got a bump here. And you so don't want to hit those two trees either. And there is two trees. And if you go too fast, Right there. Yolando. Yeah, you have to flat 10, 15 feet. So, yeah, what's the tip? I would say the best way to break this down is to break it down. The first time I rolled this, I just rolled it from here. It was raining it was 10 years ago, shooting with Marcus Riga, and I just rolled it from here. I didn't have to do the corner. I rolled it, did it, and then I went back up and then I rolled the whole thing from the top and negotiated the corner and then rolled it. So just break it down into bite-sized chunks. And that's, that's exactly what I do. That's exactly what I will do actually on this feature because Riding from here is one thing. Being able to link everything is another thing. And there's already some stress because there is a bump here. It's quite a big compression. So there's already a lot happening if you drop here. So then if you have to drop from the top, you got way more in your plate to think about it. So I think it's a really good tip. And it's something I really always encourage my, my viewers to do is to really break down the trails, the feature, and really analyze everything. And that's how you ride for a long time and that's how you stay safe. Yeah. How totally. long have you been uh, riding for? Oh, uh, since 83. <laughs> since the Dead Sea was just sick. <laughs> just gonna uh, break this down, drop in right now, and, uh, and come back and do the whole thing. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. Woo! Like if nothing. Okay, my time to go. I'm gonna do like TP. I'm gonna start from this rock face. I will link after the entire run, but to me, the biggest difficulty is gonna be that little bump right there. I want to make sure I go slow enough and I might actually pop my rear wheel over it just to make sure I don't get bucked. But I'm riding a mullet bike, so for me, it's a little bit easier. So let's go. Slow. Slow. Yeah. Nice. It's actually really, really fun. But see that rock, for like especially shorter people, if you ride the 29ers, that's exactly the kind of situation where you're gonna struggle to go behind your rear wheel and where you might get bugged and go a little bit OTB. So I don't know if you saw, but me, I put my front wheel down and I kind of pulled on the bike to go past that little bump and just make it smooth. That's my technique of riding, but that makes me uh, more confident when I get onto uh, stuff like that. So. Let's do the full line now. Very nice. Textbook. Here we go. Drop it in. It's a little bit intimidating when you come up to it because it rolls over so Steve, you can't see where it goes. But once you actually get on the crest, then you can see it. It all lines up. And uh, yeah, it's good to go. Super fun. Hey TP, how's the grip on the first rock? It's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. Let's go. So as you can see, there's a bit of a tire slide here. Oh, TP went inside. Yeah, I go outside. Up. Oh, nice. It's really fun. You went, you went pretty inside, eh? I guess so, yeah. Yeah, I've seen your tire marks. I was expecting you to go more outside. Yeah. That's I a good line. 
It's really cool to ride. It's it's fun. Like you got braking control, you got like a corner, you got a bit of everything. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's uh, it's got a little variety package to it. <laughs> yeah, sweet. Well done. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. We've both done it. So now yeah. I'm gonna follow you. Now little POV. POV. You yeah, you know me. Use a guide. And yeah. Remy. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Okay, so let's see. Oh, little tire slide from Chip. Yeah, buddy. Boom. You are a bit slidey up there. A little bit slidey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you get uh, some moisture on your tires from uh, the grass coming into it. So I think I love it a little bit of moisture. And, yeah, totally. It, yeah. Makes, it makes a big difference. I don't want to skid on camera in front of everybody. <laughs> I didn't skid, did I? <laughs> don't want to be a skid. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, yeah, the dirt. I mean, it's still. Still damp. It's good, it's but. It rained last night. Yeah. Sweet. Let's get into skid? let's get into the big one. Okay, let's do the big one. Okay, so that's uh, the second line, right? This is the bigger one here, and uh, it's really good traction. Back when I first did it, I did it in the moss. <laughs> it was super fast. In, in the moss, like this. Yeah. So wow, it was, chippy. It was sketchy. When was that? That was probably about ten years ago. Wow. You know, eight nine years ago, probably. How old were you at the time? Sixty-five. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Under sixty-five. <laughs> And uh, it's way easier with like uh, the moss cleared off. Yeah, so. that granite looks actually really good. Yeah, I've come back and it, it grows over quite quickly. If you don't do it for a while or clean it, it'll moss over and it's super fast and greasy. And I've had the front end go and it's let the brakes go. And luckily it tracked and started going out and worked for me. But you know, when it's moss or not mossy like this, it's actually quite grippy. So you can keep your brake. Uh, be, be careful. Huh? It's all good. I got 510 rubber. Okay. <laughs> So basically you just follow this crack here and then line it up where you want it. And right about here you can actually see down the line because it drops out of view. And then just uh, fight the instinct to get back, which is what some yeah, people Yeah, because do. if you go back with that compression, you're just gonna compress the bike and fork is gonna come back and you're just gonna- Loop out. You're gonna loop out, yeah. Yeah, so don't get back, get low. And uh, then uh, got a nice pretty smooth outrun and Bob's your uncle. Sweet, well, I'm gonna film you doing it first. Okay, buddy. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, you had an amazing braking control right there. Thanks, buddy. Did you hear about the guy that was addicted to brake fluid? He says he can stop anytime. <laughs> Nice. It's actually, you know, it comes, it's like, and it gets steeper and steeper, right? It does get steeper and steeper. And the steeper part is actually longer than I expected. It's like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, it's really fun. No plumber crack showing here. I don't want to be Richie Slay. No, you're good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my gloves match my goggles. <laughs> Anytime you're ready, buddy. Yeah, whenever you want. Okay, here we go. Drop it in. Okay, big rock. Yes! Haha, <laughs> so good! Yeah, dog. It's impressive, eh? Yeah, like, I like how it, it kind of creeps over more and more, and then you're like into it, and you're like, what? It's like my second time doing it, but like the second part is, you know, much stronger. Like, when you come to it, you're like, oh, it's all good, and then you're in, and you're like, oh, wow, it's it's stronger than I expected. Yeah, I love the feeling that you got to like a roller coaster. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> super cool. Rotor, cape it, cranks, 170 mil with a 30 tooth Q-ring oval ring. Get them now, cha 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 cha. <laughs> Shameless sponsor plug. <laughs> so Brett, you've been free riding for almost 40 years. Wow. <laughs> what has been the big change between then and now? Um, well, bikes are way better and there's a lot more people to ride with. <laughs> um, as far as my approach, you know, I'm probably a lot more strategic now. Back then I was like trying to make waves and give her and I wasn't always the most skilled guy, still not. But uh, I kind of self-programmed myself to just be like full send all the time and just charge. And um, I was lucky not to get hurt in a lot of crashes, but I made a lot of things too, um, trying to learn the ropes. And uh, you know, you know, it takes a bigger man to say no. So if I don't feel something, I have no issues, no problem walking away and saying no, uh, nothing to prove anymore. But on the other hand, if people are going, don't do it, don't do it, and I feel good about it, then I do it. I trust myself, and I've learned that over age, just to, to believe in yourself and trust yourself, and just have fun with it. 
And if you have fun, then you have fun. <laughs> So TP, what are we looking at? This is a little double rock roll that uh, I've always enjoyed riding. It's kind of an old school one, uh, tucked away here on Mount Seymour. And uh, nothing too gnarly, but it's like a couple quick little, quick little rocks. And you have just enough time after the first one to get it together for the second one. And then uh, fade away right on the outrun of the second one. So it's, uh, it's super fun. And uh, like I say, not super gnarly, but gnarly enough that it's fun. And very picturesque, it's very green around here. I've had this actually published before, shooting with like uh, Marcus Riga and Ali Dilulo. And some of the uh, some of the biggest photographers out there. Yeah, some big dog photographers. And it's just very picturesque. It's so right, green around dog, here. Big dog free rider. Big dog. <laughs> you need to have the big dog. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? <laughs> hey, did you hear about the guy that walked into the psychiatrist and he says to the doctor, I keep having this feeling that I'm a dog. And the doctor says, Really? And he says, Yeah. And he goes, okay, let's talk about it. Light on the couch. And he says, I'm all out on the couch. <laughs> Whoa. I thought we were not doing anything gnarly today. Oh, it's not that gnarly. <laughs> you sure? It's like 10 feet, almost vertical drop. Like 10, 15 feet to slow down. And then another like 10, 15 feet, almost vertical drop. Yeah, and it's uh, still wet down here. So it might be a little greasy to try and get it together before the next one, but... Once you do it, it'll be fine. Okay, here it goes, buddy. Three, two, one. Yeah, buddy. Roddy. Yeah, that's actually really slippery here. I mean, it's a shame people can't really see in the video, but let me tell you, it is slippery. Yes! Woo! Okay, my turn. You got it, buddy. Ah, nice! That was better. Nice. Yeah, I lifted. So I popped the bike and kind of lifted a bit the rear of the bike. Yeah. So I went over the knuckle and didn't have to like hit my chain ring on it. Nice. It did it snarly, yeah? It's kind of gnarly actually. I don't think people give you uh, enough credit for what you still do. Because that's not, I mean, right now it's super slippery. That's not an easy move. Yeah, the sun's out, but it rained hard the last few days. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a nice day, but it's slippery and... The rock's mostly dry. It's a little bit wet, but it's uh, it's a little greasy. Yeah. But it's the shore, so it's supposed to be, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Props to you. Yeah, props to you too, brother. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to follow you now. Okay. It's going to be spicy. Woo! <laughs> Let's do it. Full line. We're going to ride a little bit the trail before, just to kind of get into it. Oh, it's slippery. Yeah, TP. You good? Yeah. Oh, smoke the tree. Yes. Into the beast. Yes. So good. <laughs> Rode like a champ. <laughs> yeah, dog. It's it's really slippery. Like it's really slippery. Like so, uh, I'm not confident. You know, like I'm riding. Well, the, the, uh, you carry the the wet dirt onto the rocks with you. Exactly. I'm riding like I, I'm tensed. You know, I'm not yeah. like I'm not like oh, this is easy. I'll do it anytime. Like. I'm holding the bars and I'm like, okay, Remy, you need to be focused right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel. And me, I'd like to give a massive shout out to Brett Tippy. Why? For his gnarly riding today, obviously, but also because he contributed to me getting my first ever paid sponsor back in 2014. He went to the company and said, hey guys, you need to sponsor this kid. I was high like this, just like now. And they did. And they did. So thank you so much for that. Are you a big one? And if you guys want to support the channel, you can purchase all the products we're riding using the link in the description. For example, those Ergon G1 and your grip. And I see you next week.